Travis Cordell Kalanick is an American billionaire businessman and the CEO of City Storage Systems, a cloud kitchens startup. Best known as the co-founder and former CEO of Uber and the founder of Red Swoosh which was acquired by Okamai Technologies in 2007. Chapter 1 – Early Life and Education Chapter 1 – Section 1 – Family Kalanick was born on August 6, 1976 and grew up in Northridge, California. Kalanick's parents are Bonnie Renee Horowitz Kalanick and Donald Edward Kalanick. Bonnie, whose family were Viennese Jews that immigrated to America in the early 20th century, worked in retail advertising for the Los Angeles Daily News. Donald, from a Slovak-Austrian Catholic family, whose grandparents immigrated to the United States from the Austrian city of Graz, was a civil engineer for the city of Los Angeles. Kalanick has two half-sisters, one of whom is actress Alison Ashley Arms' mother Angie, and a brother, Corey, who is a firefighter. Chapter 1 Section 2 – Education Kalanick studied computer engineering and business economics at the University of California, Los Angeles. While studying at UCLA, Kalanick was a member of Theta Xi fraternity and started his first business, an online file exchange service called Scour. In 1998, he dropped out of UCLA to work at the startup full-time. Chapter 2 – Career Chapter 2 – Section 1 – Scour In 1998, Kalanick, along with Michael Todd and Vince Boosom, dropped out of UCLA to work for Dan Rodriguez, founder of Scour Incorporated, a multimedia search engine, and Scour Exchange, a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service. In 2000, the Motion Picture Association of America, the Recording Industry Association of America, and the National Music Publishers Association brought a $250 billion lawsuit against Scour, alleging copyright infringement. In September 2000, Scour filed for bankruptcy to protect itself from the lawsuit. Chapter 2 Section 2 – Red Swoosh In 2001, with Michael Todd, Kalanick started a new company called Red Swoosh, another peer-to-peer file-sharing company. Red Swoosh software took advantage of increased bandwidth efficiency on the internet to allow users to transfer and trade large media files, including music files and videos. The company also received help from former Scour employees. According to Kalanick's archived blog, Swooshing, he lived over three years without a salary at Red Swoosh, moved into his parents' house in 2001, owed $110,000 to the IRS in unwithheld income taxes, witnessed all but one of the company's engineers leaving, and moved to Trivandrum and Thailand as a cost saving measure. Kalanick committed tax and securities fraud and perjury during the IRS investigation, blaming his partner Michael Todd, but neither were prosecuted. In 2007 Okamai Technologies acquired the company for $19 million, but facilitated securities fraud with Kalanick by failing to pay all shareholders. Chapter 2 Section 3 – Uber In 2009, Kalanick joined Garrett Camp, who he has said has credit for the original idea of Uber. Camp, co-founder of StumbleUpon, spent $800 hiring a private driver with friends and had been mulling over ways to decrease the cost of black car services ever since. He realized that sharing the cost with people could make it affordable, and his idea morphed into Uber. Garrett is the guy who invented that, Kalanick said at an early Uber event in San Francisco. The first prototype was built by Camp, and his friends, Oscar Salazar and Conrad Whelan, with Kalanick being brought on as a mega-advisor to the company. In October 2010, Kalanick succeeded Ryan Graves as CEO, who had held the position for 10 months. During Kalanick's stewardship of Uber he was hounded by drivers and the press for a failure to offer a tipping option in the Uber app. Uber released a blog post in 2016 explaining that their recent settlement of two class action lawsuits included an agreement to explain their position on tips. In the post, Uber stated clearly they did not support tipping as a practice. The post detailed their position that the connection between tipping and quality of service can be weak. Many people tip because it's expected, among other objections. 
drivers claimed they were missing out on thousands in tips. Kalanick's failure to allow tipping was reportedly based on his personal opposition to the practice and, according to a report in the spring of 2017, gave Uber something of a black eye on reputation. Not allowing riders to tip their drivers in app contributed to the perception of Uber as the unfeeling, when at all costs player in ride hailing, particularly compared to Lyft, one story read. New York City's Independent Drivers Guild gathered 11,000 signatures on a petition that prompted the Taxi and Limousine Commission to propose a rule requiring taxi services accepting credit card payments to offer a tipping option. The issue would become a moot point when Kalanick resigned months later and Uber launched in-app tipping a short time later. On June 13, 2017, it was announced that Kalanick would take an indefinite leave of absence from Uber. His responsibilities would be assumed by his direct reports in the organization. On June 20, 2017, Kalanick resigned as CEO after five major investors, including Benchmark Capital, reportedly demanded his resignation. Despite his resignation, Kalanick was to retain his seat on Uber's board of directors. Dara Khosrowshahi took his position of CEO in August 2017. On December 24, 2019, Kalanick announced his resignation from the board effective December 31, 2019. In the weeks leading up to this announcement, Kalanick sold off more than $2.5 billion of Uber stock holding, which was about 90% of his shares. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 2 Economic Advisor to President Trump Despite CTO2 and FAM's 2016 internal email to employees commenting, I will not even utter the name of this deplorable person, because I do not accept him as my leader on the election of US President Donald Trump, which was widely circulated and published by the media, in December 2016, it was announced that Kalanick joined other CEOs, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon, General Motors CEO Mary Barra, Disney CEO Bob Iger, Walmart CEO Doug McMillan, and former General Electric CEO Jack Welch, as an economic advisor on Trump's strategy and policy forum, organized by Blackstone's Stephen Schwartzman. Kalanick vocally opposed President Trump's executive order banning travel from select countries and believed that remaining on Trump's advisory council would provide him with the opportunity to directly address his concerns with the president and advocate for immigrants. In an Uber blog post, Kalanick stated that he wanted to use his position on the council to give citizens a voice, a seat at the table. However, after continued pressure, Kalanick announced in an email to Uber employees that he would step down from the council. Chapter 2 Section 3 Subsection 3 Sexual Harassment Allegations In 2017, it was reported that Kalanick had knowledge of sexual harassment allegations at Uber and did nothing. In the same week, he asked his direct report, Uber's SVP of Engineering Amit Singhal, to resign after a month for failing to disclose a sexual harassment claim during Singhal's 15 years as VP of Google Search, after Recode reported about it in media. According to Reuters, Kalanick has a reputation as an abrasive leader. In February 2017, a video was released where Kalanick was shimmying between two women in an Uber Black, before arguing with an Uber driver during a heated debate in which he berated the driver. In March 2017, Uber VP of Business, Emil Michael contacted Kalanick's ex-girlfriend in an attempt to silence her into hiding an HR complaint. This backfired, with her speaking to the information as a source present during an executive team outing with Kalanick, where Michael and four more Uber managers selected numbered women at a Korean escort bar, prompting a complaint one year later, by the female manager who attended. She also has since spoken to Businessweek about Uber's India rape, Case. On June 21, 2017, he stepped down as the CEO of Uber. Chapter 2 Section 4 Benchmark Controversy On August 10, 2017, Axios reported that Benchmark was suing Kalanick for fraud, breach of contract, and breach of fiduciary duty. The suit is based on Uber's decision to expand the number of board seats with Benchmark arguing the decision is invalid due to withholding of material information prior to the vote. The lawsuit was very controversial in Silicon Valley because of the relationship between the founder and the investor. 
the court ruled in the favor of Kalanick to move the case to arbitration on August 30. In response to the court ruling Kalanick released a public statement. Pleased that the court has ruled in his favor today and remains confident that he will prevail in the arbitration process. Benchmark's false allegations are wholly without merit and have unnecessarily harmed Uber and its shareholders. In January 2018, Benchmark dropped the lawsuit against Kalanick. The investment firm agreed to drop the lawsuit if Uber completed its transaction with SoftBank, a prior condition Benchmark had agreed to. Completed in early January, Uber agreed to sell a sizable stake to SoftBank. The share purchase valued Uber at $48 billion. Chapter 2 Section 5, Venture Fund 10100 On March 7, 2018, Kalanick announced via his Twitter account that he would start a venture fund, 10100, focused on job growth. The fund is likely named after the address of his childhood home. The fund is going to tackle large-scale employment opportunities by investing in e-commerce, innovation and real estate in emerging markets like China and India. Chapter 2 Section 5 Subsection 2 City Storage Systems Shortly after the announcement of his venture fund, Kalanick announced that he had invested $150 million in City Storage Systems, a company focused on the redevelopment of distressed real estate assets particularly, parking, retail and industrial lots. Kalanick announced that he would serve as its CEO. CSS, previously called Delta Gamma Bravo Holdings, was a business vehicle of Kalanick's friend Diego Badakin and has previously raised capital from social capital. CSS is an LLC based in Los Angeles. To capitalize on the rapid growth of prepared food delivery sector, in June 2018, City Storage Systems took controlling interest in UK based Food Stars, a dark kitchens startup with over 100 locations throughout the London metropolitan area. Dark kitchens, also known as ghost kitchens, are purpose built facilities that are leased to restaurants to prepare food for delivery off-site from their full-service slash walk-in location. Ghost kitchens also allow virtual restaurants to launch brands and offer delivery-only service. City Storage Systems Ghost Kitchen business operates under the name Cloud Kitchens. In November 2019, the Wall Street Journal reported that Saudi Arabia's Sovereign Wealth Fund completed an agreement with Cloud Kitchens in January 2019 to invest $400 million in the company. Kalanick himself has invested $300 million in the startup. On July 13, 2020, Northwest Industrial Logistics Private Limited, a Singapore-based holding company associated with Kalanick's City Storage Systems, set up a new company headquartered in New Delhi, India. As of October 2020, CSS's portfolio of U.S. properties included locations in nearly two dozen cities, including Portland or, Las Vegas, Miami, Queens New York, Memphis, and Seattle. Chapter 2 Section 6, Corporate Advisor Kalanick serves on an advisory board for NEOM, Saudi Arabia's plan to build a futuristic megacity in the desert. Chapter 3, Personal Life Kalanick owns a townhouse in the upper hills of San Francisco's Castro neighborhood, which was nicknamed the Jam Pad and had its own Twitter account. In 2019 Kalanick purchased a penthouse in New York City for $36.4 million. In April 2020, he bought a home in Los Angeles for $43.3 million. Kalanick has been described as being a passionate libertarian, and a fan of author Ayn Rand. However, even with his libertarian beliefs, Kalanick stated that he supports Obamacare because his independent contractor drivers maintain health insurance as they transition between jobs.